Hi, I'm Mark Dias, and welcome back to Let's Play Digital Devil Saga. I need to do this real quick. Alright. There we go. Ah, so we have our mantras. Um, yeah, we can go back to where we needed to go before and grind up, get a couple skills, get some more money. So I might do that, because even though we have other objectives to get to, sometimes it's better just to get some basic skills done quickly. Well, part demon. What are you doing out here? Well, I know you're a healer, because only healers get an get analyzed. So you're going to be a squishy little fuck. Why bother to ask? We asked one question, and I think I blew up the system. It started cursing at me, I think. Well, obviously, dingbat. Yeah, well, you better not talk about having it at our camp, or I swear to God I will eat your face. Just your face. And maybe your legs. Actually, no, let's go to Svatistana. I think they get all bitchy when you do, but I do want to at least get the first set of skills down. It might be locked, though. Yeah, we already heard that. Don't say that too quickly. You never know. I could die. You're not psychic. You don't know these things. I think enemies appear everywhere now. But I can't be sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. I want to get to where those save points are. Not this one. But I think once you head into the next room, it uh, starts it up with combats. And hey, look! Items up there. Oh, there's no way to go. Oh, let's see. Yeah, the blue wall blocks it. Since we don't have anything that can open it. Well, there should still be combats here. Oh, yeah, I didn't do this. Maybe not. I'm not seeing any combat. Maybe not. Well, at least I can save some time and teleport. Even though it's only like three rooms. I thought it cost money to teleport. Maybe it's only from big one to big one? I don't know. So it's good to know that everybody's made of tiny bits of information. And that's what Atma is, apparently. Well, magnetite. Yeah, it's pretty much a rainy hellhole. Yeah, you get more money the faster you end combat.
because the temple's bigger than that. And how dare you question the temple? No, not really. Go ahead. Ah. Well, obviously they're related somehow. Duh. Yeah, you've said that before, Heat. Let's not be silly. Well, obviously not here. Maybe she came from the sun. Don't ask questions. Well, you're an idiot. Because that's what I do. Thank you. Okay. So they want cells, whatever cells may be. I mean, that's pretty good. And revival gems, but never get rid of revival gems or soma drops. I mean, if you really need it, that's fine. Yeah, now we can buy those, but I'm not really going to buy those because, most part, ammo is not too important to buy. In the beginning, it is in case you get caught with your pants down in a combat. But Sarah's not in her room. If we want to know about Sarah, bring her to Nirvana. Is that all she had to say? Angel. I do not know this name. You truly remember nothing? I'm very sorry. Atma? Child of purgatory? Now what do we do? Nothing's changed. Yeah. We'll crush the other tribes and reach Nirvana. By using this new power. I have no objections. Our goal remains the same. I am in Sarah's debt. I just want to be normal. I'll do anything to find a cure for this curse. It is decided. Allow me to propose a plan. As we are aware, there is only one way to reach Nirvana. That is to defeat the five other ruling tribes and present ourselves to the temple. The largest tribe, the Brutes, is presently struggling against the Wolves. It is unclear whether the Solids or Maribel pose the next greatest threat. As for us, though we defeated the Vanguards, we are severely lacking in manpower. <laughs> Who cares? We'll devour them one by one. Easier said than done. What's your plan? If we feign an alliance with one of the weaker tribes and defeat their rival, we can then crush them afterward. You mean, we're going to side with our enemy? 
Until now, the tribes have relied solely on their own strength and resources. But an inflexible mind limits one's strategic options. So our enemy's enemy is our friend? You've certainly changed. You are the ones who have changed. Your emotions have clearly become unstable. I do not comprehend. What about Sarah, then? I'm sure everyone's hot on her trail by now. Cielo and I shall remain here. No one knows of her whereabouts. Hereafter, we should institute a policy of silence regarding Sarah's existence. What is our leader's decision? Yeah, of course we're going to proceed according to plan. It doesn't seem right. But so be it. First, we head to the Maribel's territory. Their boss is skilled, but the individual members are weak. It is advantageous for them to accept us, and defeating them will not pose a problem. I do love Gales. I do not comprehend. together, huh? Well, uh, being a demon is normal now. So, get over yourself. Or whatever's jammed in your crawl. Eating people will change you just a little bit. Well, maybe there's something wrong with you. Ugh. Stop saying the same things. Uh, the one thing I kind of like is, is, even if they're slightly different, characters mostly say different things, so you're not hearing the same thing over and over. There are some, like the informational ones up here, that will almost always say the same thing. Monopura. Or Monopura, whatever. You think someone would just snipe and blow your head off, like right there? Mad Max called, they want their outfits back. Or... Class of 1999. They all look like gem extras. I assume you all have the power. Dun, 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 dun. How else could you have made it this far? So then, you're the same as us. Not just me. Nearly all of us have changed. Soon everyone in the junkyard will be this way. The war will escalate. God has cursed us all. What's cursed? Who is this god? I do not know. The thought appeared in my mind. 
Are you sad? What is sad? I'm not sure. You just seem that way. Many of us have died due to this unexplained power. If my reaction is sad, then yes, I am sad. Explain your business. Interesting. But first of all, you must prove that you are worthy of fighting alongside the Maribel. Wait, Janana! <laughs> the tribe is hungry. I'll be waiting for you. If you can survive. Yeah, you're a creep. I get it. <clears throat> she has it on her butt cheeks. Which is kind of awesome. Alright, first things first. Items as always. that she didn't just shoot me in the face the second I walked in. Or, you know, sniped my head off. But I think that doesn't truly kill you. I think you have to devour people to eat to uh, have them permanently die. Shut up. You can count. Congratulations. This area is rather long winded. Although we will, because this will be a grind area. And that door becomes important later. Let's see what the vendor has. Yeah, basically, if you don't have all the alls yet, you can pick them up here. Um, they're really not worth buying. I mean, 500? That's a lot. You'd be better off just buying the mantra and maxing it out, even if it took a while. Although you do need to gain quite a few levels here. skills usually are the best if you want to max characters up quickly. Um, I know I didn't do that for Heat and Argilla yet, but protection really is the best uh, for surf to, or surf to get. Uh, let's attack you. Argy you. Attack you. Ah, you bitch! The only 
only downfall to using uh, that frequently is uh, you can get a status effect that's almost incredible. unless you go to a uh, uh, go to a store place. Oh, you bastard. Nice. Shh, Nikes. That's what I didn't want to have happen. Uh, and I have no way to carry him. Great. Yeah. Well, at least it's a good time to show it. Yeah, you get nothing. You get no Atma for it. So, yeah. And it hurts you consistently. So, we need to go over here, hopefully without getting in any battles. And it's expensive to carry. Oh yeah, and I forgot poison doesn't fade after combat, like most games. This game's pretty cruel about status effects. I think paralysis, confusion, and there's one other one. No. need to run back to the freaking thing again. Alright, set you. We can do Terra instead of Analyze. And we will need to avoid Earth later. Alright, now we need to get her a mantra. Let's see... I do like the uh, the skill tree better in the second one compared to the first one. Compared to this one, obviously. Alright, ailment inducing skills, heal magic skills, let's see what it is. Media, which is nice. Uh, Pasa Moody. Ah. Yes, I do want that one, actually. And I do not have enough for it. But we do want that. So how do we leave? This is where things get kind of frustrating. The, basically, the more the skills go up, the more expensive they are, obviously. But that skill, the uh, AKD or whatever, is well worth getting. I probably won't have enough to get it. Let's see. I could sell a Revival Gem, but not really worth it. Let's sell three of those. There we go. Now we have enough. Yeah, the second one, numbers for uh, money get so swirling, you have to count, sit there and like count how many zeros it takes to get things. I mean, some of those are absurdly expensive. And not for good reason, but I mean, really. Yeah, Media and Ake. G are some of the best. Possum Moody is okay. It'll take quite a while to get that one, but I do want to grind out that one either way. Which I might do in between episodes, because we're getting close on time, and uh, I'd rather gain some levels and stuff, because the bosses coming up are not fun, and the next area is not all that fun if you're not ready for it. Yep.
Yeah, so now you have your combos. Um, light damage, almighty all. And light damage, ice all. Basically, you can skip ahead on magics and stuff like that by having a combo. I think it's be Micronova... I don't remember what they are. I'd have to look them up outside of... Uh, Terra. Yeah, so something Argilla has. Alright. Please don't get another stomach ache from eating him. Yes! Good. Look at that. That's a huge jump for it. But yeah, I'm probably going to get everyone to get Ake D, because even if you consume, as long as the battle doesn't end when you get it, when you uh, cure uh, Stomach Ache, you'll still get uh, all your stuff. Your, uh, your Atma. I believe so. Alright. Uh, no. Oh, okay, yeah, just to show it. Terra doesn't do all that much damage. Come on, no stomach ache. Fuck yeah. Whatever, just kill it. Ugh, that was not worth crap. Yeah, different enemies have different Atma values, so usually it's best to kind of pick and choose. Oh good, he's frightened. That's even better. Yes. Yeah, I think Frighten doubles the quantity of Atma you get from a battle. Well then. Stomach ache. Yes. Sometimes there's a hold up at the end if you're going to get a stomach ache, so I always kind of get nervous until I get abilities later that allow me to avoid getting uh, stomach aches or other status ailments. And reinforcement battles do happen quite frequently. I'll probably master protection with this one, with the Frighten and that. Fuck yeah! Alright. Nope, wrong button. Now we get to set again. No. Uh, let's do that instead of Health Rust. And then we can go ahead and use you, and... How much money do I have if I keep pressing the right buttons? Yep. Now I'm human. Alright. Yeah, that's all three. On one enemy. <laughs> yeah, and you can choose to uh, transform or revert. Oh, I don't have enough turns, that's why. 
Here's a combo. And obviously can't combo. You son of a bitch. Yeah, also when you're in human form, status effects do a lot more damage. Not like a whole load more, but enough to make a big difference. No. Actually, let's do strength twice and magic once. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. I might need to sell things. Let's see what mantra I'm going to get. Yaksha. An angel. These are really expensive, right? No, oh, no, 3,000. Yeah. Uh, Mudo is death, but it's by a random chance. Uh, quick escape means if you go to run, you don't. Your odds are much better, or I think you always do, but you take damage. Avoid death is helpful, but not now. No enemies have Mudo. And Hama, which works on some enemies, is decreases their hit points by a quarter, I think? If it's successful. It fails a lot. Um, void Expel is the same thing. Uh, Tarunda, I think, is a just like a hit, I want to say. I don't remember specifically what Tarunda does. I never use it, so it's not very good. Alright, I don't want to get another one of those, but I do kind of want to get this for the Feeding Frenzy um, and the Ingest Mana, but how much is it? This 4,000? Could also get that. That would be really easy to get, and it's cheap. Yeah, let's actually... Should get him fire magic skills just to get him done with that. Yeah, and there are a lot of enemies weak to fire around here. And that way he's always protected from fire. Oh, actually, before we do this, one thing you should always do, even though it costs money. We will save this for the next episode of Let's Play Digital Devil Saga. And in between, I'm going to grind a little bit with me, Morak Dias. See you later.